Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting down with Pac Diego and Fidel Montesimo from GDM Games, and you've brought us Subi. Yeah, which is a lovely cover, and I'm guessing a lovely game inside as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are we trying to do in Sugi? Okay, I, uh, this game is based on uh, Sugi that is a uh, famous forest in Japan. Uh, uh, they are, uh, I've been to the first. Okay. So there is five samurai, one of each color, trying to arrive to the temple. And we are on Sestos and these samurai, some of them are family of us. So we have a secret goal. Um, so I think I'll give there. Some samurai and, and points. The first one give us seven points, second five, until three. Okay. So we have to play these cards. Have arrows to program movements. So we program putting the card face down here. When there is five, we will reveal it all. And we do the movements. Okay, a red one goes here, okay, yellow here, blue, bands, yellow comes here, and so, so on. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, we can play the car face down here to program, or we can play the car face up. Because we have actions. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, we will only when there is five cards, but uh, we can discard cards before we go in. I can put, I can change the other. <laughs> I can change a tile. You can. So we'll, I'm going to put these out in the middle here. So we've got the little flip flop. Uh, we've yeah. got put. So, Flip it and over. The most interesting, I can move the bad ghost of the forest, so I can move as tight as many tiles I, as I want. But if I reach a tile with uh, samurais, I have to scurry all of them. <laughs> so I carry this one here and this one here, maybe. Oh, I can. So goes home. Goes <laughs> Never to the to the rear of the ghost. So when three samurai arrives. We will a uh, secret objective and count points, and, and it's an easy to play game too. Now, is each player contributing a card to this programming, or are you laying them out at random and then using your powers to influence yeah. Yeah, yeah. How, you, it, how it plays out? You have out. four cards at hand, and you can program or use the ability. How long do you think a game would take us? Uh, depending on the player, but between 20 and 50 minutes. Now, since we are not directly controlling, you know, we're not playing one of these colors, how many players does it play? Uh, from, from six, but uh, in the box we put five, because six, sometimes it's too long. <laughs> <laughs> from, but from two to five. Of course, they, uh, oh, those are your secret yeah, objective cards. We have uh, 10 different objectives, because most uh, people want to play. Uh, it's possible. And uh, only because I, I am noticing the backs of these cards, since this is Japanese, that you have a little Kodama on the backs of those. Are you guys fans of, of, of Japanese storytelling? Uh, I, or? I like Japan. Uh, so Kodamas are in the second forest. So <laughs> have to be. Why not? <laughs> we have uh, in, all the, um, in all the board, we can find a Gitsune, a unicorn. Oh yeah, that's what I want. A lot of a small dragon and <laughs> fire, fire. Oh, lucky cats. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys want to be equally enchanted, then this is Sugi, which is from GDM Games, and thank you both. Thank you. All right, here I'll clean this up so you guys can grab that one. Oh, pause for one second. Don't get up yet. Uh, Aldi just needs us to re-record me saying thank you so much. So hold on to those for one moment. Okay? And if you guys are equally enchanted with this as I am, then you should check out Sugi, which is from GDM Games. And thank you so much. Mm -hmm.